Hi beautiful people, how are you? I hope you're well and I hope you're good. Thank you so much for tuning back into my channel again. It's been a hot minute since I recorded. Yeah, life has been going on basically. It's been busy. Life of a mummy is not even a joke. Like, it's not a joke. Um, but thank God for everything. Um, and lately I've just been trying to wait for um, when God really presses something into my heart. I feel like that's the reason for the channel is to share something that God has placed in my heart and um, I know I promised in the past that I'm gonna shoot you know once a month two times a month and all of these things but they're not panning out like I promised or like I really would have wanted it to pan out but I think everything happens for a reason so it's God's plan that it's not coming as frequent um, so I'm not even gonna promise anything anymore like I'm not gonna promise you a video every week or a video once a week I'm not gonna promise that um, now. I think um, what I'm gonna do is just take it as God presses something into my heart to share and you know as I can make time to to share it with you guys and I really really hope that um, it will be as often as I can make it. So however saying that though um, if you have any topics or anything that you want me to talk about if you have any um, things going on in your life that you would want me to share about or share my thoughts about or anything that God is speaking to you about that you want me to share um, in this channel please feel free to um, leave them as a comment or send me a, a message um, I think you can find my um, detail on my YouTube channel my uh, the email address to email so please send your topics or anything that you want me to share about or any questions that you may have please feel free to share them on the email address or send them over and I'll be so happy to look at them uh, but yeah I'm just trying to clarify that in the meantime I would put videos up as soon as I have something that God is present in my heart to share with you guys and unless also you have any any topics or any questions that you've asked me via email or in the comments um, to talk about then I will share a video to talk about them okay then so now we've talked about all of that onto this video so this video um, the title for the video is um, pass the test so I feel like God has been pressing these words in my heart lately pass the test and I think it's it's very crucial um, for us to kind of get hold of this idea or this concept or or this understanding of passing the test because life is full of challenges life is full of tests and we kind of have to pass the test in order to move forward. If not, we'll be stuck um, in one spot. Um, so just to drive this message home, I don't want to read too many Bible verses. I just wanted to just come and just share my thoughts on this um, topic as God has placed it in my heart. So um, just to drive the, the message home, we'll be looking at uh, Abraham in the Bible and touching a little bit about Moses. Um, so Abraham, if you look in Genesis, um, I believe chapter 20 Genesis 20 um, but I'm just gonna summarize the story for you if you're not familiar with the Bible um, I believe you can get a lesson or two out of what I'm trying to share today um, so please don't click off it's not just for Christians I think it's um, a mindset to actually be able to proceed through life and come out successful and come out you know with all the good desires that you know every human being would you know have so anyway let's look at Abraham so Abraham in the Bible well, if we know the story um, they didn't have children Abraham and his wife they didn't have children for a very long time and God came and promised them that they would have a child in a year's time and by this time I think Abraham was you know 99 and Sarah was about the same age as well uh, this is in the book of Genesis in the Bible um, so when the when God promised um, Abraham and Sarah his wife that they would bear a child and they were this old you know 99 years um, of age so they're thinking really and truly is this even possible like we're old how can we have children at this age Sarah in her mind she was thinking like you know is this even possible how is this supposed to happen and the reaction from Sarah I have to say is very human you know how can you tell someone that is you know 80 years that they're gonna bear a child and they're gonna have you know a child in a year's time I mean it's something that you would you know think a little bit in your heart okay is this really true um, the Bible recorded that it was only Sarah in her heart that kind of laughed and was like really is this possible um, 
But it didn't record anywhere that Abraham actually doubted God. I believe that Abraham really trusted in that word that he received that they would have a, a child in an old age. Um, he didn't. He didn't doubt God. Um, he believed that what God has said will happen. And so I think that God looked at that and and thought, okay, if this, if he did not doubt my word, even you know, looking at looking at the circumstances surrounding him, his old, his wife is old, and he didn't doubt that I could do this. And we know from reading the Bible that um after a year that the word came that the you know the promise of a child came to them that they had a son called isaac um so this is one example that i just wanted to share about passing the test you know um abraham i believe passed the test when he received the word the promise that they would have a child he did not doubt it he believed it and he moved with it and of course he moved with it because if they had a child a year later he must have you know moved with the assurance of the word and you know took the action yeah we don't want to go there but um yeah and so they had a child so he passed the test he didn't doubt god he still did his part and they had a child so he passed the test to move to the next level and another story is also about abraham you know after he had the child the child grew up a little bit and god came again and said this one child that you've managed to have at an old age i want you to sacrifice this son um, on the mountain. Abraham again did not, you know, say, oh, really? Like, I only have one child. You know, you gave me this child after such a long time. And now you want to take this child away? You want me to actually sacrifice this one blessing that you've made me wait for so long to get? Now you want me to sacrifice him, kill him, and have no children again? What's the point of giving me um, this child anyway anyway um, just to move forward Abraham obeyed God he moved with his son blindfolded him and was ready to sacrifice his son and we know from the Bible that God provided another sacrifice so Abraham did not actually have to sacrifice his son God provided a lamb to be sacrificed instead but I believe God again was testing Abraham to see if he would pass the test and I believe because Abraham passed so many tests that God gave him, God promised him that he will be the father of many nations. And God blessed Abraham, if you read the account of Abraham in Genesis, you will see that God blessed Abraham tremendously. And these are the things that come when we pass each test that God gives to us. Another example is Moses. You know, when Moses, when God chose Moses to be the person that would lead the Israelites out of Egypt, you know, God chose uh, Moses and Moses was thinking, oh, I'm not capable of this, you know, I can't do this, I'm a stammerer, I can't speak in public, I can't go and speak to Pharaoh, Pharaoh was the ruler at the time of Egypt, you know, and, um, you know, God is not saying to Moses, go to Pharaoh, go to this, you know, king or governor and tell him that I have said that he should let my people go. Moses was like, who am I? Who am I to be sent on this journey? I, I don't even know how to speak. I stammer when I speak. But God chose him. But Moses eventually passed the test. And he went to Pharaoh and he said, this is what the Lord said. And when he did that, we know the amazing things that God did, did through him to lead um, the, the, the people of Israel out of Egypt. And God did all that just because he passed the, the test along the way and God used him tremendously okay so let's bring it to you know our lives you know day-to-day -day life um, we see that for example in school you know you have to pass several tests you know nursery school primary school college high school university there are you know the set there are tests you know that the educational system sets for you to take and then you have to pass them in order to move forward even in your workplace sometimes you need to take extra qualifications in order to you know maybe take more responsibility or get a promotion or something like that i think this is just a natural principle it's actually raining right now so if you hear the rain uh dropping down it's raining it's rain but we're gonna push forward anyway so we see these principles in our day-to-day -day lives and it's also the same with god so when we receive challenges Basically, the message today is just to say that when you have challenges in your life, 
when you're facing anything you know there's time for everything there'll be time that you will not be joyful there'll be time that you may be crying there'll be times that you will face difficult situations there will be times that you face things that you don't know how you're actually going to be able to go past it you know i'm just remembering the children of israel when they were uh, leaving egypt they faced the big massive red sea a body of water and they were thinking how in the world are we supposed to pass across this body of water but god made a way it's the same way we're all human beings we face those situations where we feel like what and how are we supposed to come out of this you know you get tasks at work if you're gonna be honest and you're like hmm, i don't even think that i'm fit for this but these are tests that we actually have to pass in order for us to grow um there's a place in the bible that says that these come to us so that we can grow in endurance and that we can grow spiritually so tests are not because we are bad people they're not because we've done something wrong they're not because we we are not fit they're not because we're not enough they're not they don't come because you know you're not good enough or any negative you know lie that the devil might sell to you or you might sell to yourself they are challenges if you're a child of God everything you face they are challenges to move you to the next level to move you to the real reflection of who you're actually supposed to be in God so if you can see them as okay you know you, you see like a, a, a difficult situation coming and you recognize already okay this is a test I'm gonna pass it and to be fair it's it's not easy you know sometimes even when you recognize that this is a test that you have to pass it's still not easy to pass that test you know when you know that you have an exam next week you know that there is an exam but it's still not easy to actually you know do all the preparation you know stay up all night and read and actually go and pass the exam it's not easy yeah and um that's another thing that i want to share also how do we actually you know pass the test yes we know that these challenges are tests to pass how do we do them because sometimes we just don't have the strength as human beings to do it sometimes they are overwhelming you know some things that we have to go through honestly they are overwhelming and this is where the holy spirit comes the holy spirit is our helper that's what the, the the word of god says the holy spirit is our helper and he helps us in all things so in cases where you feel like overwhelmed you know i can't you know i can't do this i can't um i'm not able to go through with this really just ask the holy spirit for strength and trust me he will enable you he will empower you to go through anything and Still come out joyful still come out um, um, victorious why because that's the promise that God has given us you know we see them as as tests that we have to pass and they are for our own good you know as long as you can connect with the Holy Spirit and ask him to lead you through everything you're going it might be painful but trust me when you come out on the other side you will see you'll be able to see why God has led you through that part and why God has you know has allowed you to go through whatever it is that you're going through i believe that in every challenge we need to be thinking about what is god trying to what is god trying to um teach me in this situation because there is always a lesson that god wants to teach us are you loving enough are you are you patient enough are you caring enough are you long suffering enough these are the qualities that we need to actually develop these are the qualities that need to embody us as children of god so in any situation maybe god is trying to grow you in the area of patience maybe he's trying to grow you in the area of love and we have to pass the test for god to release more i believe that you know sometimes we pray we ask god you know god i want this i want that i want more responsibility i want to do this i want to shine i want to you know show forth your glory i want to do all these wonderful things i want to go to the world i want to go to hollywood i want to do this and do that however the little little test that he's giving you are you passing them because that's the only thing that will qualify you qualify me to for god to release more so sometimes whatever you feel like you're asking god for maybe god is actually waiting for you to pass the test god is waiting for us to pass the test because he has abundance to release to us there's so many things that god actually willingly wants to give us but i believe that we sometimes are holding back the blessings that god has in store for us why because we've not passed the test if you don't pass your your university courses you can't move forward you can't you can't go and do your masters 
You can't go and do a PhD. You can't do that. It's the same with God. God needs to see us fit and pass the test in order for us to move forward. And I really, really hope that we would um, seek God and seek the Holy Spirit in any situation that we're going through. And just be encouraged that you're not alone in anything that you're going through. God is with you. He is actually busy. He's living inside of you. His spirit lives inside of you. And he's willing to, <coughs> excuse me, he's willing to help. He's willing to strengthen. He's willing to empower you. We just need to seek him. We have actually all that it takes, all that we need, God has put it inside of us. We just need to find the strength in those difficult situations difficult times in those times that we feel disappointed and and despair to really still focus and sit on the feet of god and trust me you will find that he is faithful it's not easy in those situations but if you can still hold on you will see you will see the light um in the tunnel you will see the light in the tunnel um so i really really hope that this video has blessed you um if you have any comments please feel free to leave them in the comment section below um, and until next time, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.